Good morning, folks. Today we're going over space weather, a rare weather event in the Middle East, stellar super outbursts and fast radio bursts, a new player entering the magnetic field discussion, and a banger of a climate article. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. It was very quiet. No significant flaring as the sunspots remained calm. The only eruption of note came off the far side of the sun in the overnight hours. It erupted from the now departed sunspot group we saw last week. Here at Earth, a couple of hours ago, the last CME appears to have impacted very weakly. All of those glancing blows on their way ended up being very weak, as expected, and did not produce geomagnetic storms. Let's go to the weather where a very rare event has hit the United Arab Emirates, hailstorm pounding the desert region and confusing both the locals and international meteorologists. Up next, they have traced a fast radio burst back to a magnetar burst. This has been one of the primary hypotheses for how these radio bursts are made. Now the only question is whether it's the field snap downward or the accompanying release of plasma along the breakout fields that makes that radio signal. Excellent article up next by some mathematicians that have gotten interested in Earth's magnetic field. Their motivation is clearly stated to be the fact that Earth's magnetic field appears to be heading into another excursion or reversal now with major negative implications for our planet. They did some good foundational work on the harmonics of the process, hopefully more to come from them. Last but not least, yet another article showing that the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation is about to collapse. We had seen the preprint of this article, but it is now accepted and published. And to my absolute shock and amazement, look at what the Weather Channel wrote about it. Does this sound familiar? It's basically the plot of the movie The Day After Tomorrow, and is what triggers a rapid freeze of the planet. It's one of the key counter-narrative truths in climate science, and again, I'm amazed the Weather Channel actually published this. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.